I love how I look in the camera, bro. I want to just talk a little bit about Cancun and like a spiritual talk, honestly, mostly because I was in Cancun as I don't know if y'all know actually, unless you follow my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. I changed my Instagram name. Um, I identify as Coconut X Curry now. Um, you know, I'm Christian Julian Chipperman, but we already know that. Like, I resonate with Coconut X Curry. Coconut Curry, bro. But anyways, what I want to talk about was just my experience in Cancun. Like, I'm going to drop, I'm already editing and working on the video, the actual Cancun trip video. That's going to be out soon when it's ready and when I feel it is, when, it, when I feel it embodies my real trip in Cancun it'll drop but i just want to talk about something that i kind of took away from the trip as well while i was there which was my spiritual journey and food and how they correlate okay so like a week honestly like a week before i went to cancun i was in the u.s in california and my stomach was just hurting bro like i would eat stuff and then like i would just it would just go right through me to say the least and then if it didn't go right through me which it most of the time did my stomach would just be cramping like eating was not good like it didn't i didn't i couldn't eat and just be like chill with the food inside of me so i went to cancun like despite my stomach being terrible literally the night before i went i ate some food and my stomach was just like not good i drank tea it kind of helped so then you know i woke up at like 3 a.m to go catch my flight at like 3 a.m well my flight was at 5 but i needed to get there to the airport early and I remember I like didn't eat because I was like, okay, if I eat, I'm going to have stomach cramps the whole flight. I don't want to get to Cancun and have my stomach jacked up, right? So I just didn't eat or um, I just ate fruit. So yeah, I ate watermelon uh, the day before and I ate fruit. I ate apples and bananas the day of. That's what I took. I took it in a Ziploc bag to eat it on the plane. I literally got on the plane and I was starving and I just <laughs> like ate an apple. But yeah, so the fruit I could hold down like light things, I guess, but eating like a whole meal like salmon or just like tacos or like an actual meal, my stomach was just not having it. So I got to Cancun and I was like, okay, you know, the first day I got there, bro, did I, I didn't eat. I was just like, I think I had a paleta, like I had an ice cream, and then I got went to the store and I got some watermelon. I got like ginger beer to help my stomach. I was just drinking liquids and eating fruit, and I was like, okay, that's whatever. So I went to sleep. My stomach felt good just doing the fruits and juices and like the ginger ale, um, ginger yeah, ginger ale like soda. Um, my stomach felt good like that. So the next day I woke up and like just being in society where it's like, okay, you wake up, breakfast, lunch, dinner, like that's what I know, and I honestly haven't tried to like do a real fast intentionally like i'll fast maybe until like 4 p.m but like i haven't tried fasting for like an entire day or extended period of time intentionally so i woke up the next day and i was like okay um i'm not like i didn't feel hungry like a little bit but i didn't really want to eat per se i just went to go eat because i knew this is the time people usually eat this is the time i usually eat so let me go eat so i ended up going to a restaurant uh i'll insert the food and video here bro the food was amazing like it was um sh bacon wrapped shrimp bro with like a side salad the best wok i've ever had the best sauces i've ever had one of the best sauces i've ever had i'm not gonna say the best because i've had a lot of sauces but um yeah so i ate that um and immediately bro i literally the food was so good if you know me i clean my plates like or you know what i mean like i eat like i'm like I'm there. That's the point. That's why I went to a restaurant to eat the food. So this time though, bro, I remember I literally had like, I was kind of forcing myself to eat the shrimp because my stomach started freaking hurting. Like the guacamole, I was cool. Just the salsa and chips. My stomach was like, all right, we can handle that. But I started eating like mashed potato shrimps and all this stuff, like with a lot of seasoning and heaviness, my stomach was not having it. Like midway through my stomach just got like, it's like the food would go in me and just stay like right here. And then it would start cramping and like, I did not feel good. So I literally dipped out. I was like, bro, I had a shrimp left. I usually never leave food. I was like, I I was like, I'm done. Like, please take the food away. I didn't say it like that, but they were like, oh, are you done? I was like, yeah, like I'm good. And I usually never say I'm good. I'm always like, oh, let me get a to-go box. Or no, I'll finish it. This time, bro, I did not even want to look at the food anymore. And then, so I left the restaurant, stomach freaking turning. And I went to go get a, a Oreo ice cream because, you know, I could eat ice cream. So I ate that. It didn't mess me up. But that food was still in me. So I just didn't feel good overall. 
I ended up going to my um, my spot that I'm staying at, and I literally it went through me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like, like it's like whatever I ate, I didn't really eat it because it just came right out of me. Like when I tell y'all after that, my stomach was empty, so it's literally like I didn't eat. So I took that as a sign. I was like, okay. This is my first real day in Cancun, you know. I thought I was going to come here and be eating here, 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 here. I was like, I'm not going to eat. Like, until my body tells me I'm going I'm able to eat, I'm not going to eat. Or until God tells me I'm able to eat, I'm not going to eat. So I literally just, from that point on, I was like, I'm not eating. Um, the only thing I would eat was like, I'll maybe eat some like chips, like um, regular potato chips. Like just, they're not Lay's, they're Sabritas, but they're like basically the equivalent of original Lay's in america so i would just eat those like you know some popsicles i ate a lot of watermelon i got um a thing of bananas i um i ate those bananas the small ones right there that you see i ate um a naranja um or it's called it's not called a naranja it's called something else but it's basically grapefruit um that brought me back to life bro i went on a walk came back and like i just i didn't even eat the grapefruit i just put it on my mouth and sucked out the juice heavenly um, I would drink ginger beer and I had Greek yogurt and an Activia. Bro, the Activia, God said, if you know the Activias from Mexico, the ones that are like probiotics that gets rid of pain, it really works, bro. It's like a, the fiber Activia, bro. I love those. Every time I go to Mexico, bro, I get those. But yeah, so that helped. That's literally what I ate the rest of the day. Um, and I was good. Like, I went on a walk, bro, after I, I you know, I took a nap and I like let flush all the food out of me i literally woke up no food in me and i took a walk i had the most energy like i was good without having eating real meals you know what i mean then like the next day came and the next day was my birthday i didn't eat all day i just had fruit yeah i didn't eat i literally went to go jet ski and i had no food in me i had no food in me until the night like i literally didn't eat until the night and when i tell you i felt good like I was kind of tripped out at the fact that I felt good because I'm so used to myself like kind of needing food to feel good or feel alive. And the fact that I was going without food felt amazing low key because you know, like and when I say going without food, I mean like a solid meal because like I said, I had like a container of watermelon, I had lots of fruits, I had lots of, you know what I mean? Like little snacks, I had, I was eating some chips sometimes. Not a lot though because the chip, like the chips, my, my body, first of all, doesn't have all the fuel in it i'm not gonna just feed it chips so <laughs> you know what i mean so i ate um the lace chips like one day and the next day i just ate fruit maybe a paleta like um some ice cream if i wanted to things like that like very very light things and i felt good i drank a powerade like you know what i mean things like that and i felt great actually and you know i i really thought i wasn't gonna eat the whole trip i just kind of accepted it i was like okay i'll eat when i get back to cali let me get my stomach a chance to just i guess regroup because when i tell you my stomach was messed up for like at least a week and a half like i'm i mean that so at that point i was just done with my stomach i'm like i'm not gonna eat like we don't have to eat like it's cool we don't have to eat um yeah like i felt so good during that and I want to bring spirituality into this now because honestly i feel like it was a spiritual thing because I, I i look back at it now i didn't understand it in the moment but on my birthday it all made sense i was like okay i think god was trying to cleanse me you know and honestly at first i was sad like i came to cancun i'm not eating tacos breakfast lunch and dinner like but in reality, in Cali, I eat tacos already. Like, I already eat a lot. So I feel like not eating was God's way of just cleansing me for real. Like, I felt so just, like, fresh, bro. And, like, my stomach being empty felt pure. It didn't feel like I was starving. It just felt like I was good. And I'm not saying this to say, like, don't eat. Because I felt good because that's what God and my body was telling me to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not like I was just, like... Oh, I'm not gonna eat. I'm trying to get skinny. Like it wasn't even about that, bro. It was about the fact that that's what I was told to do, and it felt good. That's like me trying to tell you, oh, go to school, but you don't want to actually go to school, and like it's not. That's not your your path to take. You're gonna hate it. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Like you have to have a reason to be fasting or to be eating just liquids or just a fruit diet. Like you need to have guidance, and honestly, God was my guidance for real because how I know it is because. Like I said, I had accepted the fact that I just wasn't going to eat. But then at the end of my birthday, right, 
this was the end of my birthday night. I had been lit, just moving around all day, no food in me, like at all. When I tell y'all, no food in me, just fruit. And it was literally like 10 or 11 o'clock, or this was like, it was like 10 o'clock. And I just heard a voice. I'm pretty sure it was God. I just heard a voice saying, You can eat now. I was like, Okay. So I literally looked at my phone. I saw a taco spot. Bro, first of all, I got four tacos for $5 with the delivery fee. First of all. So I ended up getting four pastor tacos. I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm, I, 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 I heard God tell me, like, I'm being so serious. Like, I heard the okay, like, you can eat now. And I got the food. And I was on the phone with my girlfriend, bro. And I ate, I annihilated those tacos. And my stomach did not hurt at all. Like, that's God. My stomach was not hurting at all. Meanwhile, the day before, I literally could not hold any food in me. The, meanwhile, the week before, food messed me up so bad. But when I finally said, okay, I'm just not going to eat. Like, when I finally just said, you know what? I think I know best. I need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When I gave that up and said, okay, God, I'm not going to eat. I'm listening. Then I started getting everything. that Like, it's crazy, bro. Like, just listening. Like, I have to kind of put my wants and stuff on the back burner because what God wants from me is way better. Like, I'm over here thinking I need to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, blah, 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 blah. And I listen to God. God telling me, don't do that. Just go, literally just go be active. Like, because the first day, bro, when I went to go eat those shrimps, I was going to go to a museum and go look at it. But instead, I wanted to go to, I wanted to go to a restaurant. So I feel like, honestly, too, if I was eating the way that I eat, bro, I would have been going to places to eat instead of looking at the beautiful place around me that I am. That's just how I am, like. You know what I mean? But I think that the fact that I was alone on this birthday trip, God wanted me to just explore and really get that side of it more than the food. Not saying that I'm not going to go travel and eat the, a bunch of food, but I think this this special time was for me to really just be in my own energy and not be so, so focused on needing this, needing that. Like, I didn't have any weed, I didn't have any alcohol, and I didn't even have any food, bro, just fruit. So, I think it was really a cleansing thing because, first, I felt cleansed, like... And then after I ate the food, bro, like, I don't, I felt great, bro. Like, I, I was chilling. You know what I'm saying? And I really, I really appreciate this fast, too, because it really did tap me on my spiritual side. Like, being empty, you know what I mean? Whatever I put in my body, I can feel how it affects me. Like, I remember I woke up, and don't roast me, but, like, the, the day before my birthday, I woke up, and I went to Oxo. I walked there. I got a Powerade water and those Lay's potato chips, but they're called Saritas, and, I uh, I broke my fast with a banana that day because I could eat fruit. I ate some bananas, and then I ate some of the chips. And just being so aware of how my body feels and and how everything affects me as soon as I eat it, I ate the chips and like I started feeling sluggish. So then I offsetted it by eating more fruit and I felt good again. Like just those little being able to tell, listen to what my body and what it needs was so beautiful. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying, you know, don't eat chips, but I also got a lot of knowledge on that trip about nutrition, about balancing things out. Like if I'm gonna eat junk food, quote unquote, I need to balance it out with something fresh. Like if I'm gonna eat fried chicken, I better have a salad. Like if I'm gonna eat a burger, I better have some greens. If I'm gonna eat chips, I better have some fruit. Like it's about the balance. I think that, you know, a lot of times we try to go all or nothing. Like, okay, I'm just not gonna eat this. I'm just not gonna eat that. But I think it's truly about, okay, if I know I'm about to eat this, I know, I. I care about myself enough that I'm gonna I'm gonna come behind that with something nutritious so it balances it out. You feel me? Like it's not about cutting things out, it's about balancing it out. Because what I've also learned um from this amazing he's a the creator, not a creator, but he makes like alkaline water. Uh, he's very big on like the alkaline diet and things that are alkaline um but he's also big on things that are acidic because our body needs alkaline stuff and acidic things to be in balance to keep the equilibrium. So he was saying that, you know, I'm not saying to go out and not eat the junk food like I'm saying, but you need to have the balance. Like, say you were to wake up, right, and you were to drink a green juice or some type of healthy juice with a bunch of fruits, vegetables, antioxidants, and a bunch of, you know, things like moringa powder, things that are just good for you, ginger, things like that. You drink that first thing in the morning, right? You now have the nutrients in you to be able to offset anything you put in it. So if you start your day with, with good stuff like that, like you you just you kind of pre your pre prepping your body for whatever is gonna come in the day, you're good now. You feel me? Like if you straight away drink fruit, vegetable, all that stuff, juice, right? And then later on you end up having a donut. You think that donut stands a chance with what you have already put in your body? It's like a shield almost. And that stuck with me so hard, I was like, yo, that's crazy. Like 
or if you go eat a big old steak, but you have all these nutrients in you already, like, you might not feel as sluggish with that. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's, it's things like that that really just, you know, open my mind because this health journey, uh, it's, it's bigger than just looking, you know what I'm saying? It's bigger than just looking jacked and going to the gym. Like, it's about health and how you feel and the longevity, bro, because... I already know I'm I'm a spiritual being and I'm a physical being like my physical body is real and I feel like although when I die although when I pass on because when I die I'm not dead like it's just my body but when I die bro you know I I, I want to give first of all I want to give my body the best chance to fulfill what I can fulfill on this earth you know what I'm saying so I'm trying to be and I am going to be the healthiest I can be, not just for the sake of being healthy, ah, but it's to be able to serve your purpose in the best possible way. You know what I mean? Like, bless everybody out there that's serving their purpose in their own way. But I'm just saying in general, you don't have to be no bodybuilder, bro. But the time that you are, you're, you're here now, bro. Like, let's make the best of it. You know what I mean? Like, let's do the best we possibly can. Like, why make it harder for ourselves? Like, the way the social media and, and everything around in this world has shaped things, it's like, okay, we think that, oh, you got to be skinny to be healthy. Like, it's not just about you being skinny versus you being, you know, on the thicker side. It's not even about that. It's about how you are internally and how, how can you get to your best self to serve your purpose in the best way? You see what I'm saying? Like, whatever that may look like for you, because you, your best way does not have to look like my best way. You do not have to do the same as that things I do because you're not me. But you know what is going to affect you in the best way versus what's going to bring you down and hold you and keep you stagnant. Like, I know things that are going to keep me stagnant and I just... I'm not saying I avoid them all the time because I would be a liar. There's a lot of things that hold me back but I'm aware of them and I can kind of navigate that and, and I can I can stop a lot of things before I completely self-destruct, if that makes sense. I, I can pinpoint what is causing me harm and push away from it before I get to rock bottom. And even if I get to rock bottom, I can always get back up, but I don't like how rock bottom feels, so I'm trying to not get to rock bottom. But yeah, I think that if we all did that, we would live much better lives. Like, we just got to be aware of that every single choice you make matters. What you choose to put in your body, what you choose to think, what you choose to watch, what you choose to say, what you choose to do, all has a direct influence on your mental being, your spiritual being, your physical. And I cannot stress that enough. Your physical, you don't just get that all of a sudden from waking up and saying, I'm at the gym. It's a whole spiritual, mental shift that needs to take place before you will ever start seeing results in the physical. Now, you may get surface level results in, results in the physical, but if you really, really, really want those extra results where you're, you're kind of like, wow, like you're, you're, you're proud of yourself. You're shocked with how you, you, you show up in this world. Start with your spirit. Get your spirit healthy. And everything else will follow. Get your mind healthy and everything else will follow. How do you do that? Honestly, I'm going to just tell you how I did it. I can't really tell you how you do it, but I hope this may spark something. How I've done it, honestly, is praying and just asking a lot of questions through creation, through making videos and learning a lot about myself and just really deep diving into into Christian Jig, uh, Christian Jigaloo, Christian Julian Jigaloo, Coconut X Curry. <laughs> really just deep diving and learning myself, being around other people and getting some insight into who I am and just doing a lot of um, reflection has helped me a lot because, yeah, I, I, I just had to sit and reflect. I'm not saying, you know, go in your room all day and just sit and be like, but <laughs> like, you know, you can do it actively too while you're going through life. Just make sure you're thinking about everything that you do and make sure that it's all intentional. Um, not saying don't have your fun, but even when you're having your fun, be intentional with it. Like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I hope y'all see me. I'm 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 so transparent, bro. I hope y'all see me as just a regular dude. Like, I'm not saying I'm just I eat leaves all day and like no, bro. I, I I'm just like y'all. Like, I have balance with it. Like today, for instance, I'm gonna tell y'all what I ate today. I woke up and I made coconut curry. Uh, with tofu, chickpeas, black beans, sweet potatoes, carrots, habaneros, jalapenos, onions, garlic, coconut milk, tomatoes, 
uh, yellow bell peppers, orange bell peppers, blended that up, put that in there. And yeah, I said the coconut sauce already. And of course, curry powder, sauteed that with some green onions, red onions, uh, the garlic. Did that, you know what I'm saying? Fried up the tofu, submerged in there so the tofu soaks up all that beautiful coconut curry. Ah, amazing. I ate that. I had about honest, three servings of that with some rice. And then I also had some rice again some jollof rice with some steak chicken and then i also had a slice of pizza and two boneless wings from pizza Hut. so it's about balance you feel me like i do eat i eat a lot of food honestly um you know it's that's just me uh, i listen to my hunger cues as well as you know i i am trying to build a certain physique um and i'm trying to you know what i mean i eat i eat but it's about balance, like how I said, I you know I ate the, all the vegetables, the coconut curry, um, no meat, it's like a vegan dish. I ate that with some rice and I ate the meat with rice. And then I also had a slice of pizza before the gym for pre-carbs, like it's balance, you feel me? Like the slice of pizza didn't fuck me up because I had already eaten my nutrients earlier. You see what I'm saying? I had already drinking things that are, you know what I mean? Like it's about balance, but I don't think I'm just out here like, I only eat cauliflower rice and salmon like no bro like i i do a lot of the times <laughs> i'm not gonna sit up here and lie i like, don't eat that like i do eat salmon i do just eat i literally eat like meal prep food i just eat meat rice veggies um it's, it's typical meat rice broccoli fish rice broccoli fish pasta broccoli you know what i mean things like that but i also do have my little fun i'd be eating my fried chicken wings i'd be frying my own chicken wings i'd be eating my fried tilapia i'd be eating my little pizza you feel me like period because this life is fun too bro like it's fun i don't want to be too serious and you know what i'm saying miss out on a slice of pizza because i'm like no uh, like and I, I i feel for people that don't and you know to each their own people that you know that's they just take that more serious but me i am just me and i'm being me authentically me and i like living like this and i'm having a great time and yeah that's pretty much all i have to say um i feel good I love talking to the camera. I love talking to y'all. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I enjoyed talking to y'all, like I said. So catch y'all in the next one. Again, if y'all have any questions to ask me, um, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A video. I posted a little video saying comment stuff that you want me to answer and I'll just hit my elbow on it. But yeah, comment stuff you want me to answer and I'll definitely get back to y'all. But yeah, I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, God bless all y'all, each and every one of you, and I hope you have a good life, not just a good day. Later.